Some Coventry fans are absolutely horrible, fighting, spitting, throwing objects. Disgraceful behaviour from the Coventry fans. <laughs> It's match day at Sunderland versus Coventry at the Stadium of Light and we're desperate for three points today. We need to keep in second place and going for a 2 0 victory and hopefully Greek can score a brace because he's due a couple of goals. It's not very nice today, overcast. Hopefully the sun will be shining on Sunderland at the Stadium of Light and we'll get three points today and that catches at the match. <laughs> Alan Thomas, big comedy fan. How's the trip been so far, Alan? Brilliant, brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Been, lovely, dear. been on the beach, seen the sea, all my paints on the What's yeah. your score prediction today? Uh, it's got to be a draw, 1-0. 1-0, eh? Yeah, We have all. loads of 1-0 draws from every race. Yeah, I mean, our best men are out today. Uh, I believe Who's you've out? got uh, Tom Bayliss, a young lad. Right. Uh, we've got Macchio go up front. Um, not a great fan of his, but maybe today he'll prove me wrong. He may prove me wrong, but we'll see. So is Bill your favourite player? He's out on the bench. He's on the bench, broken wrist. Who's your favourite yeah. player? Uh, I'd have to say Willis. Willis, right. Yeah, player of the season for me. So one one so is Mark Robbins doing a good job? Fantastic job. Fantastic job. His arm his, his hands are tied, but the money he's got, he's doing a fantastic right. job. You know, well, can't ask anymore. Not gonna get involved in the politics. Yeah. It's going on behind football, but that's another thing, you know. Yeah. I'm here today for my team. Forget the owners. I'm here for my team. Enjoy your day, mate. I will do. Hopefully you won't win, but one of us has to have you drawn you in. One all. <laughs> one all. I'm yeah. going for a 2 0 win. Just Sunderland, but enjoy your day anyway. Not, why nice are you a bugger, man? Where are the lads? Wheeze keys and these keys. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what the score going to be then. 1 0 Sunderland. One other son, who's going to score? All nine, second half. All nine, second half. We'll take a victory. We've just seen all the comedy fans coming past. Dirty bastard. Police escort, giving the V's, spitting over the fence. Fons coming the way, Chief. Being Fons kicked out the way, Chief. But then I was talking to some nice comedy uh -huh. fans. So some comedy fans are really uh -huh. nice. Some the are majority cool. are really nice. What's Jamil? Chief, Chief, Chief. inside the world. Here we are in the sunny sunshine with hey. Morgan. What's the score going to be, Morgan? 2 0 at Sunderland. We've just seen a load of angry fans go past the Coventry fans. Aye, they chucked out the Wee Chief. Aye, what was going was on in the Wee Chief? You were there. Like, I, I was there. Just, uh, there was this Coventry fan trying to shove a door in front of a Sunderland fan. And he actually caught my arm in the door. Did he? Aye. Any fights or anything, or was we feel you okay? I believe we feel it was alright. Then you nice comedy fans there, though, was there, it? There was a few nice ones, I but some of them are just horrible. Trouble upstairs, like? Eh? Yeah. Trouble upstairs? Aye. Uh, trouble upstairs in the wheelchair? Oh, no, no, trouble oh, upstairs, no. It's no. downstairs. Aye. Aye. We saw them all getting escorted by the police, they were spitting and kicking Aye. the barriers and all sorts. Aye. It's only the minority, the majority Aye. of comedy fans are nice fans, aren't they? Aye, guys, some of them are. What's the score going to be the day, mate? 2 0 to Sunderland. Who's going to score? White and Greek. What's your thoughts on the team news? Well, I'm glad to see Catamore and McGeady on the bench. So yes, definitely, yeah. Also with them being injured, so obviously taking precautions with them being on the bench. I am sick. I am depressed. I'm angry. I'm sad. The only emotion I don't feel right now is happiness. The only one thing to do has just drowned my sorrows. Where do I start? I know fine well. I absolutely know fine well. Not one person has predicted that fucking score. Coventry have beaten Sunderland at the stadium in like 5-4. In an absolutely pathetic, abysmal show of defending from the Sunderland football team. Defence was up. What's happened? What's happened to our centre-backs? A long time ago, they were quite good. Now, that look like a shadow of the former selves. 
Baldwin and Flanagan. Absolutely diabolical the deer. Like statues. Glued to the ground. Coventry strike force. Coventry midfielders running rings around our defence. Ripping us apart. I'm just so sad. So sad. The two, I mean, getting down to the nitty gritty things, the two most important home games we've had for ages, Burton and Coventry. And our defence has been the worst it's been. There's only Luke going nine that looks any good. I knew when the comedy fans were fighting in the wee fillies and the police had to take them out and they were the one past us escorted, watch this, escorted by police and they were spitting and throwing things at the Sunderland fans in the fan zone having a pint and enjoying the afternoon and all these horrible fans walking past fucking disgusting the worst set of fans I've seen at the stadium of light Where do I even start with this fucking match? We lost 5-4. Our midfield looks shit. It does really. It looks stagnant. Stagnant. It looks stagnant. Static. Ledbetter and Honeyman don't have any bite in midfield at all. And with Baldwin and Flanagan look really slow. Their, def their, their strike force was running around our defence and just leaving them for dead. It's not good enough. Our, our team is just not good enough to be promoted this season, full stop. We're not good enough. We've shown it now. We're a solid unit. The only way we can grind out results is by not playing 4-4-2. Even though I wanted to see 4-4-2, I understand now 100% why Ross does not play 4-4-2. We're not strong enough in midfield and we're not strong enough in defence. Simple as. Which means we have to be weak up front. That's why we're getting 17 flipping draws this season. We have to, sac we have to sacrifice going forward up front. Ugh, pardon me. To protect the defence. Defence is pure. What do we do now for the next match? Do we bring back Ozturk? And do we bring back Dunn? Because it could not get any worse. It really couldn't. Well done, Barnsley. They've won 4 2. Well done, Portsmouth. Portsmouth will not lose another game this season. They have won. Luton are getting beat. Like I said, I said Luton would lose the unbeaten run, but unfortunately, so have Sunderland. Two long standing unbeaten runs. Going 20 odd matches. I think Sunderland was 20 matches or something, but Luton was even higher than that. Both gone today. Top two lost. Barnsley in second place now. We've got a game in hand, but does that matter? Away from home? Probably yes. I think at this moment in time, we're a better away from home side than we are at home. At home, we cannot go forward and attack because we leave the back door wide open. We're from away from home. We're kind of more counter-attacking, I think. Level on points with Portsmouth and Barnsley are two points ahead of us. It's going to go down to the wire. We're seven points behind Luton because they've lost the day. And now Charlton are only one point behind us. For me, it looks like playoffs. Unless we can do something. I feel so sad. I'm, I'm so sick. I'm so depressed. It's taking the fucking wind out my sails completely. I'm, I'm just gutted. I can't see any light at the end of the tunnel at all. Don't ask to at home. Don't ask to absolutely on fire. Unless Jack Ross does something. Pulls a fucking magic rabbit out of the hat. We're going to be struggling for the rest of the season now. Especially at home. We've only lost once at home. We've drawn loads at home. He's going to have, probably have to go back to only have one up front. To just to protect the defence. But what we do need, we need Catamore back as soon as possible. He was on the bench today. Catamore cannot be fit enough to be in the team at this moment in time. Hopefully, please, 
by Good Friday, Catamol will be back on the side and will be fit enough to start in this lineup because we need some bite in midfield. Ah. We've still lost the least amount of games in the whole of the league, and it looks like I can't, I can't, I can't be doing with another season in this league in League One. Donald Medfin won't be able to sell the club over the summer, so they're going to have to find some really big investors to come in to put some money in this club to get some proper players, not just scraps from all over the place. I'm hoping, please, McGuire be back soon. Oh, we need the king, we need some bite there up front, we need some bite in midfield, and obviously we need something better in defence. I don't want to spend all night slagging off the players, we've been stuffed 5-4, we scored four goals and we've lost at the start of the day. If someone had said, you're going to score four goals today, it's here. get in, three points in the bag, but it's not, it's not. Coventry to their due, we're a better side than us, better strike force up front. More bite in midfield. They wanted this match more than we did. Again, we were left powder puff. We're just a bunch of powder puffs in midfield without cutting them all. You know, you're 3 1 down and you come back to threes a peach before half time. And surely Jack must, more, must get this team in at half time and, and sort this defence out. But it didn't happen. And again, we went behind, we drew level, and we went 5 4 down and we drew level. No, we didn't. I wish we did. In my dream, tonight we'll probably draw a level, but we got beat. Now we're in third place. Move on to Doncaster on Good Friday. <sighs> Pardon me, and I can't see a victory there either. So I'm sorry, I'm, I'm all downbeat. I'm depressed. Yeah. I'm sick. But this is this 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 dip in form's coming at the wrong time of the season. It really has. And I'd rather just play away matches from now on. Any light at the any light at the end of the tunnel? Can I see any light at the end of the tunnel? Yes, I'm taking my nephew to his very first home match at Doncaster. He's 11 year old, never been to a football match in his life. I'm taking his very first match against Doncaster, and hopefully he can bring us some luck, and we can get a result against Doncaster, and we can fight back. We can find somewhere, get Jack Ross in, and sort out the defence. Get Jack Ross sort out the defence and find the right formula. Get Catamore back in the midfield. Let's find the right formula again. Let's get the desire to want. To, oh, let's get this team up for the match against Doncaster. Doncaster are going to be really difficult, but this is where we need to grind out the result. We need three points more than ever on Good Friday. And let's hope it's a good Friday at the Stadium of Light. And I'll catch us then. I need some more of this. And I'll see you Good Friday. But hopefully we can <laughs> get back to winning ways.